Master. Hey, welcome back to Master and Kinder Master. Today's tutorial, if you do presentations and highlight stuff, you're gonna wanna watch this. I used to do it in such a slow way. And then my friend at Edition Express, a Kinder Master channel for Spanish speakers, which is awesome and linked below, showed me the way. This is so much faster, so much easier. One of the best things that I've learned in Kinder Master in months, if not a year. Like and subscribe and join me on the other side so we can highlight all of our stuff and I'll see you over there. All right, let's do this. Now, this is a layer, so I've set up a project with my intro clip in it, and we go into layers, and there's this handwriting here, which I never really thought that much about. So, we go in here, and it's kind of this blank canvas, and it's got a bunch of tools. It's kind of like a mini mini layer set in itself because check this out is so this is the tool of a circle we've got arrows double-sided arrows single-sided arrows freehand but let's just go ahead and take a double-sided arrow and put it in there and let's put a second one in and then I'm going to show you this is that there is a separate undo and redo for the tool itself which is really cool because for me my drawing is often not very precise and so redoing it a bunch of times is terrific when you're inside the individual layer you can change the color and create a separate colored uh different element in here let's just make a circle in here in addition check it out is that you can go all the way on different widths of stroke in all of these up to very very fat ones you can change the color on each of these as you go along do something like this and then you've got change it back down there's an X that you can put in there, there's an open square, and there is a filled square. So all of these tools, and you can undo along the way to your heart's content, to content as you go. I think that that is really, really terrific. And so you are able to operate in it as its own separate tool. Now let's go ahead and get the effect that I was showing you guys that I love, the highlighting effect. So we're going to go ahead and do what I did on the... Uh, on the intro that you saw. So I'm just gonna take these and I'm gonna put little circles around each of these here. And then we're gonna go out and we are going to animate that. And so now that's a one layer. Um, and you also, once you have it in the layer, then you can stretch it out to be longer or shorter if you want. And we're gonna talk about the rotation in a second. But this is the awesome part is that the animation styles on this handwriting object are you have either draw by stroke or draw in order. Now draw by stroke just they kind of all come together at once uh, according to the line that they were drawn and then draw in order is actually the order that you wrote, wrote them out. Uh, I like that one for this and then when we go back maybe I'll go erase by stroke. Um, the middle these don't really do anything overall animation don't do very much to it but a cool thing about this as well is that because it's a layer all of the layer properties that are normal associated are available for you as well so you can turn the alpha opacity down on those guys but the one that's really important for what we have here is i'm going to go ahead and i'm actually going to rotate it with keyframes so remember that we can keyframe any layer that we have and keyframes apply uh, for rotation and scaling so i'm going to go ahead and go into the keyframe menu here and then we're going to have it so it rotates with the items that it's following and when i go ahead and place this back on here you can see that it does a pretty good job. Oh, I just put in an extra keyframe, which is fine. Uh, but it's nice that you're able to do these as a group itself. So you can go ahead and do that. Another cool thing is when you go back in here, if I go back into the menu of editing this, even though I've rotated it and keyframed it, all of my undo keyframes are still here and I can add more to it if I want to. So let's say if I wanted to draw in the KineMaster K that's there, forgive my sloppy style handwriting while I do this, okay? So I gotta go ahead, I would never make it like this. You guys saw it here. And now when I go back to the layer, then you can see that it gets drawn in last and it kind of rotates with it as well. I think all of this is really amazing and I've found that the last couple of things that I've done, my highlighting, instead of what I used to do was use a sticker and highlight, my highlighting is going 10 times as fast and I'm happy to highlight many more things. So that is the whole deal with it. I hope it makes sense to all of you. 
I think that was a pretty easy one. I hope that it's really useful because it's really useful for me. Remember, like and subscribe. Comments, questions, suggestions, conversations, please have them with me. Get out there and make something really cool with KiddoMaster. Let me know about it, and I'll see you the next time. <laughs>